Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talk. So here we have again this character, this entity called Elon Musk. Now, if you are a regular listener, you will know that I believe Elon Musk to be a front man, a mascot, a puppet for the establishment. Whatever he fronts is probably the establishment putting their plans into place using technology, such as the automation of jobs by the use of robots or a 5G satellite network to spy on everyone, or the establishment taking over a social media site. You know, if it was, a, a, put it this way, if it was a combination of the United Nations and the World Economic Forum and the EU that took over one of the biggest social media sites, people would leave it in their droves. But instead, what we see is what I feel is a manufactured character for the media who is framed as some sort of Tony Stark Marvel character and then try and frame them as some kind of hero of free speech to disguise these organisations are being run by the establishment. Using a mascot such as Musk makes people not to be so alarmed. Plus, they can always blame things on this individual if things go wrong and move on with their plans using somebody or something else. So when I say Elon in this video, think the establishment when I say his name, because that's what it is in my opinion. As if, I mean, as if someone would be allowed to become this rich and powerful and be independent of the authorities. Musk was even one of those world economic young global leaders. Amongst many other things, just check out my old videos about him. Go to hugotalks.com and type in Elon Musk in the search bar at the top of the site to find all of the videos I've done on him. One recent one was about why he and the establishment are acquiring Twitter because they want to change it into the X app, which is a version of the Chinese WeChat social credit score all-in-one monitoring spy app that they use in China. Whether they change it into that or destroy Twitter and then herd people into a new one, I don't know. One or the other. I mean, he even admits to it in this clip. I mean, we don't even have uh, a, 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 an app that's as good as WeChat in China. Uh, and like in China, you can like live on WeChat, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah, it's like, yeah, everyone, everyone's like, they like you live on WeChat. You do payments, you do everything. It's like, mm -hmm. yeah, it's great. Mm -hmm. Basically, WeChat's kick ass. Um, and we don't have anything like WeChat outside of China. So I was like. My idea would be like, how about if we just copy WeChat? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> copy them. Buys for her, copies WeChat. Yeah, pretty Hot. much. <laughs> so there you go. Buy a company and then create a counterfeit copy of someone else's idea. This is the Elon Musk strategy. All of the companies he has been involved with existed or were, were already created and were successful in their own right before he came along to invest and buy them. The establishment doesn't like independent businesses and they like to take them over when they get too big. Anyway, this video is about this headline here from yesterday, one of the Beast Systems plans for the future. Elon Musk confident Neuralink brain chips will cure blindness and restore mobility as he aims for human trials in six months. He says it's like replacing a piece of skull with a smartwatch. Now you notice in this how we see yet another piece of invasive technology. I mean, it can't get any more invasive than taking over your brain. This invasive technology being sold to the public as being beneficial to your health, how it could help you. Just like the jib jabs were sold to you, just like the vax passports were sold to you, like, like the digital IDs are sold to you. You know, oh, oh, look, illegal immigrants everywhere. It's all about, oh, we need everyone now to have digital IDs. We don't know who is who anymore. It's dangerous. We need digital IDs. It's for your safety. And now we've got Elon here saying he wants to cure the blind and heal the sick. Sounding a bit like Jesus there. Copying that idea as well. Elon, for some reason, is very, very popular, though. People are blinded to what this establishment puppet is. And there are tons, tons of influencers who support him as well. Talk him up all of the time and attempt to keep this fantasy in continuance. It's sad. So many continue to look for a false idol to follow. You know, they will always, they will always provide a false idol for you to follow. This is why the gate is wide to destruction 
and is narrow to the truth. This is the, this is the guy who shows off in a Baphomet costume with upside down crosses, a costume called Devil's Champion, whose ex-girlfriend also dons upside down crosses, who likes to set up photo shoots of her reading the communist manifesto. I mean, they are telling the public what side they are on. I mean, he who hath eyes, let them see, yeah? So anyway, they are talking about how they're gonna start doing human trials here about with these uh, brain microchips. It says here, it was stated at a convention, even if someone has never had vision ever, like they were born blind, we believe we can still restore their vision, Elon Musk said. Neuralink's last public presentation more than a year ago involved a monkey with a brain chip that played a computer game by thinking alone. It turned out loads of these monkeys died and experienced extreme suffering after being experimented on. Who in their right mind would sign up to uh, test this microchip? They must be out of their minds. Uh, Musk went on to say, as miraculous, as miraculous as that may sound, we are confident that it is possible to restore full body functionality to someone who has a severed spinal cord, Musk said at the event. So now he is talking miraculous, miracles, heal the sick, make the blind see again. And it sounds miraculous, he says. So look, here we see Thessalonians, yeah? And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall continue with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness and unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. So promising miracles, lying signs and wonders. Now, not that I think Elon is the man of lawlessness, no, but he is of the Antichrist spirit. How could the supposed richest man on earth not be? I mean, the richest man on earth must be the greediest man on earth. I mean, personally, I think he's a puppet and he's not actually the richest man. But if you believe what they say and you believe he is, then how greedy can someone be? Apparently, it says here, he has only donated 0.001% of his fortune to charity. There are, are reports of him donating some billions recently to a charity, but that has apparently not been confirmed. So it says here. So anyway, emulating the healing of the sick, making the blind see again. A deception, I believe, because what this chip I feel is all about it's not for therapeutic needs, it's for linking people's minds, networking them up to the cloud. The concept is for widespread use, hooking people up to the cloud, where your innermost thoughts could be sold to the highest bidders. It's the ultimate control over people. And the primary driver of all of this is clear. It's not about health, as you can see here. Their first product will link your brain box up with your black mirror device, Satan's devices, yeah? Elon Musk says Neuralink's first product will control smartphone with brain implant. Who needs a touchscreen when you've got your mind? This is where I believe it's all going. And this seems very much like the end of days to me anyway. And yet with all of this obviousness, Elon Musk is still popular lauded as a hero by many online, a hero of free speech, a champion wearing a, a devil's champion costume. This is, I believe, all part of the strong delusion that so many people fall in love with the lie because they have no foundation. They are easily persuaded. They follow trends at the drop of a hat. They follow the materialistic. They follow the money. They have no connection to the spiritual, no connection to their gut instinct. They lack discernment because of this. What did Lenin say? The best way to control the opposition is to lead it ourselves. What does communism do? It always seeks to purge the faith of its people, of the society it wants to take over. Note my last video on all the reports of Christianity declining and how they want to remove it from all public policies and law. Remove it because without faith, 
people have no foundation and are more easily manipulated and moved. Discernment is lacking in the majority because over time, they have bred the desire for the spiritual out of the majority of the population by giving them a long line of false idols and vacuous movie stars and celebrities to worship. Bread and circuses, all promoted through the fake stream media and now directly accessible through their now portable black mirror devices that the majority carry around with them everywhere. So we find ourselves in a world where now everything seems back to front, upside down, inverted, where good is bad, where bad is good. And many people feel alienated from this world. And why wouldn't you? They feel like they don't fit in anymore. And this fits in with Bible prophecy as well. Wars, rumors of wars, one world religion, one world government, which is the beast that rises out of the sea in Revelation, which is what people uh, refer to as the beast system. And this system having authority over, as it says, over every tribe, people, language, and nation. And for those that don't submit, persecution will increase, which goes in line with what I've been talking about recently. That's why we are seeing the anti-Christian agenda starting to ramp up. The system will uh, turn against those who stand for this. But if we look at the Bible, John 15, 19, which is Jesus saying that those who follow him will also be persecuted. It says, if the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If you are of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. What is popular now of the world? Elon Musk is popular. He is of the world. Media personalities are popular. They are of the world. Black Mirror devices are popular. They are of the world. But that is now an upside down world, a world where a guy buys Twitter, apparently. His profile has an avatar of him wearing a satanic upside down cross Baphomet outfit. He declares he wants to put microchips into everyone's heads. He's supposedly richest man in the world, but has donated less than 0.001% of his money. And this person is popular because he is of the world. You reap what you sow. I don't expect to become popular with these videos in the future. I will only become more unpopular as things continue, the more I talk about this type of thing. If you are feeling like a fish out of water, like you don't understand what is going on, take that as a good sign that you are on the right side of the fence. Take it as a warning to not allow yourself to be persuaded or coerced into the forthcoming system. Like I said before, Revelation 18, 4, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues. This is about mystery Babylon, the corrupt system that makes war against the saints at the end of time, because everything goes tits up basically, because all of these control freaks are going to lose. They are on the losing side, but they want to engage people to be on that losing side with them. Just don't let yourself get caught up with it. Come out of her, my people. It's a warning to come out of the system before it is destroyed. And I'll leave you with this one here, Romans 12, 2. And do not be conformed to this world, okay? Conformed meaning behave according to social norms or following the crowd or trends. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may discern what is the will of God and what is good and acceptable and perfect. As always, thanks for listening. Come and sub to the hugotalks.com website if you want to be notified when I upload videos and so that you don't have to rely on notifications from third parties. See you later.